Today we're going to talk about how color temperature can make or break your still life paintings. When you set up a still life, some things that may help are not having your focal point in the center and trying to arrange shapes in such a design that the eye can move through the painting. In this setup, I wanted the eye to move from the knife to the bread, back to the butter, and then back to the knife again. As I draw my shapes, I'm very careful to look at the negative space around the objects to help me get a fairly accurate drawing. This is a really useful technique. As I do in my landscape paintings, I start with the darkest darks and then with the next darkest. And by working systematically in this way, you can start to get the perception of depth and three-dimensional space pretty early on. I also block in the rest of the canvas with the blue of the cutting board, and already there starts to be this conversation between the cools and the warm colors of the still life. Now, I jump ahead here to add the reflection on this knife to get a good working sense of the tonal values within that specific shape. And by laying in this light, I will be able to better judge other lights that I lay in elsewhere in the painting. As I paint the cut portion of the bread, I'm aware that the open surface of the bread is a cooler yellow than just the crust itself. So that means that I'm mixing in a very small amount of ultramarine blue into this yellow. Another thing to be aware of is that mixing in titanium white with your color mixes will also desaturate and cool down your mixes as well. The butter color is mostly a mixture of cadmium yellow and white. Cadmium yellow is a warm yellow, and while the white will desaturate it somewhat, it will also raise the value. Since the top of the stick of the butter is facing the light source, it is high in value anyway. Now here, where I have to paint the shadow side of the stick of butter, this is a much cooler yellow again. So again, I achieve this by mixing in some blue. On my palette, I mix different pools of grays that I can select as the painting process goes on, and I use less and less pure pigment and more and more of the gray mixtures. In nature, with some exceptions, most things are actually varied tones of gray anyway, and so that's why focusing on color temperature is so important for attaining a sense of realism in your artwork. The two most important questions that you can ask yourself with regards to color mixing are, what are the tonal values and what are the color temperatures? As you dial those two facets in, you will see a marked improvement in your colors and artwork overall. Let me know in the comments what you think about color temperature and leave any tips you might have for others reading. Your tips and tricks uh, might just help somebody save their painting. Remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.